Hello and welcome back everybody to Minecraft Mondays. Monday, Monday, Monday. I know, it's your favorite day of the week. Um, you sound like a car salesman. Listen. Bye now! Bye, 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 bye! It's, this. My, it's my retail background. <laughs> At Subaru Hyundai. Sometimes uh, I just can't turn it off. Hi there. As you much like my as eyes? I would love to. This makes there. three doors, but it uses Peek the spruce. Uh, Peekaboo. <laughs> you're the scariest thing ever created. My hair, <laughs> the, the hair actually makes it large enough to fit the normal player model. <laughs> because my character's shorter than the average player model. I made him the shortest possible player model. That's sad. He's a little dorky. It's a dwarf. Okay. I need to make ladders. Oh, many ladders will be made today. Many. No there will be no ladders today. There will be no ladders today. There's stuff on there. Oh, there will be no ladders today. He <laughs> heed. Hee hee, hoo hoo, to the funny farm. <laughs> What's that from? It's a song. From? <laughs> he does not know these They're things. They're coming to take me away. Uh, I don't know who he does. <laughs> I don't know what it's from, but it's, you know, it's in a song that exists. They do it at Six Flags for Fright Fest. Oh, that's true. But I don't think, I don't think it was made by Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a Six Flags original. <laughs> by Warner. <laughs> Is that who owns Six Flags? Uh, no idea. Well, how, why do I have cobblestone slabs? I made those. I, I thought you were about to yell. How? Why would I know that? <laughs> oh, it's getting dark already. It's I'm all your fault. Make my house, hee <laughs> hee. I'm coming to make. Ah, <laughs> uh, in the mountain top. So, is there <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so my my current plan on this is I have made a training arena where we can go to the end of the hallway and fight spiders and level up for enchantments. So, where's the spider spawner? Ah, uh, first door on the left, upstairs. <laughs> I am expanding my house so we can make an enchanting table. Because apparently the farming business is just not been made. Oh, so, so we're not making it downstairs? I see. I mean, we can make multiple enchanting tables. I spent so much We, hard we haven't work. found diamonds yet. I spent so much hard That work. That needs to be our, uh, that's our big goal. We need to, we need to make diamonds. No, building's my goal. Make diamonds? We need to find Hey, diamonds. I was making diamonds by just crushing them. <laughs> crushing them between, uh, <laughs> There's hands. your meaty claws. Meaty dwarf claws. <laughs> but... For realsies. For realsies, the realsies, though. And, uh. I'm making my home in the mountain. I suck at life. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really do. Wow. I appreciate your honesty. Wow. Wow. Oh, crap. I have another oh. spot that I have to block off. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, that. Hi, Mar. <laughs> So, speaking of, uh, oh, hi, Mark, let's, oh, hi, Mark. Uh, I think we should pick a topic to talk about in this video. So oh. we got something that we're kind of, like, we're kind of, uh, focusing on. Uh, oh, Mark. I think, uh, I think we should do bad movies. Bad movies. Yeah. You What's... realize I think all the movies are bad. No, I'm just kidding. There are yeah, Elaine hates every movie. Elaine hates movies. Now we're going to have this episode <laughs> called Be, Be the Movie Hater. Yeah, she hates bacon. She ha what was the other thing she hates? What's all the things she hates? No. <laughs> hey, that's the topic for today's video, is all the things Elaine hates. <laughs> wow. Okay. She hates The Godfather. I mean, it's terrible. I mean, I don't particularly like The Godfather either. What about either. the second one? Huh? I what heard it's even one? worse. I heard it was better. I heard that was a better one. Oh, yeah. really? Like, The Godfather is usually listed as that, like, one of those series that has a, uh, a better sequel than the original, along with, like, Star Wars for Empire Strikes Back. Hmm. Good to know. 
good. Clearing out a nice space but. here. We're gonna make pretty little flowers. <laughs> Get back on topic. Am I just literally listing things? Yeah, what what's you don't a, like? I'm turning what's to a, Bob Ross over here. What's a, a movie you don't like? A movie I don't like? Yeah. You're having your list oh. just one. Let's just start far. with one. Um, yeah, let's see. Well, Token wasn't a very good movie. That was upsetting. I wouldn't put that on the list of bad movies. I mean, it's not though. like the worst movie I've ever seen. I'm trying to think. Oh. Oh, Welcome I, to Marston wasn't so great. I don't even know what that is. What's that about? It was about, the one Lloyd? with uh, Steve Carell, where he got uh, oh like the one with the attacked and he yeah. had the dolls and yeah. I'm very good at explaining things, oh, as you can see. Oh, we never watched that. So. You're not missing yeah. out. I haven't seen that movie, though. I actually did see the trailer and I thought it was looked cool. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Elaine's it was, gonna be like, no, it wasn't. It was a bit of a letdown. I will say that. I think Steve Carell's kind of shaped up to be a, a good actor, though. I wouldn't have thought so with, like, him kind of starting on The Daily Show, but... And making movies like The 40-Year-Old Version? I like The 40-Year-Old Version. I'm not saying it's I a bad movie. I think you're saying version, both of you. <laughs> the 40-Year-Old Version. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad movie, but I mean, like, when you think of those kinds of, like, really ridiculous comedies, you don't think, oh, this actor that's starring in this comedy is going to be... Like an amazing actor, one yeah. day. You know what I mean? You feel like they have a ceiling, and they can't surpass it. Yeah, he. I think he's done a good job, though, kind I of getting out of that. <laughs> kind of getting out of that. Um, I wonder what happens when it rains. Being typecast as like a just a comedy actor. Um, I can't get that block. You know who was another one who kind of got out, broke out of that really well is, and we're going to talk about something sad. Is uh, Robin Williams? No, he, it's too soon. Welcome to Vietnam. He, yeah. He Good was, morning, we, Vietnam. Yeah, you got there. Welcome to Vietnam. Good morning. <laughs> I was thinking of your. <laughs> in, I was thinking of your intro. <laughs> um, but like he was very well known as being a comedy actor. He kind of got the whole thing with Mork and Mindy was, or I guess he started as Mork on uh, Happy Days, and a bunch of comedy roles. But then his dramatic roles, like he kind of showed that he could really do it. He's also good at being Teddy Roosevelt. Yes. <laughs> just, just want to mention. Bully, bully. I mean, things like Goodwill Hunting and stuff like that. He was really good in. Um, I like his even the, the thriller. Obviously. Yeah, the the thrillers that he was in, like Insomnia and uh, One Hour Photo. One Hour Photo to this day is one of my favorite movies. Hmm. Why did I make this out of dirt? I didn't want to make this out of dirt. Maybe that's all you had at the time. No, I have other things. Maybe you had to make do. No, I have, I have, I have bricks on my hot bar. Well, maybe now. No, I had to do that. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, may, maybe not doing a downing, a downer, that downing, uh, a downer topic. What's a movie that surprised you in how good it was? Oh dear goodness! I watch so few movies. <laughs> dear goodness, that's that's they should, title. Be, they should stick out to you really easily. <laughs> That was surprisingly good. That like you didn't think was gonna be good, but it ended up being good. Oh. Uh, what about you, Lakota? <laughs> awesome. I can't think of anything. Like, I barely watch movies. You know this. Like, name movies that everyone's seen and. What movies was were surprisingly bad? <laughs> and you know. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad was a, a definitely a letdown. I was I'm. I was upset that that wasn't good at all. No, the new um, Wreck-It Ralph movie I thought would be better, but I was disappointed. It wasn't bad. It, it wasn't bad, but it, it wasn't was, as good as it could have been. It was mediocre. Or Detective Pikachu. I liked which Detective Pikachu. lost its I, way I, until I, the end. I liked that movie, too. <laughs> I mean, it was fine until the ending, See, where I was is, just like, what? This is when conflict arises. Oh, you know what I thought would be a really boring movie, but I actually like now that I've seen it more than once? Pirate Radio. I haven't seen that. Oh, wow. Like I've seen something you have not apparently, seen. Apparently, which is weird. But what is that about? It's about pirates about and radio. Uh, when, <laughs> like, rock channels, I think it's mainly rock channels, uh, we were sleep? not legal. And Are you serious? I have to go all the way down to the so, basement to sleep? That's fine. In order to play that kind of music, people would have to basically make radio channels on boats to avoid 
you know, so going to prison oh, and paying fines and stuff. So it's like music footloose. Wait, so we're not going to bed? We can't sleep because he's really far away. It's, oh. it's like, it's boat, boat no, it's music fine. footloose. Uh, I probably, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie, so if I didn't give the best synopsis, my apologies. Um, that sounds interesting, though. You get sued by the company, man. You're like, ah, oh, this is not good. Philip, I think his name's Philip Seymour. Philip Seymour Hoffman? Yes. He's dead now. Now he's dead, yes. Oh, okay, he but can. he was in it. The dead will not speak Um. Well. So was Bill, Bill Nye. Bill Nye? Bill Nye? Nye. Nye. I, yeah. I can't do the sounds with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was picturing I was picturing <laughs> Bill Nye as a pirate. <laughs> with like an eye patch, but with a beaker still. Because that makes all the sense in the world, guys. It's like, today on this episode of Bill Nye's Science Guy, I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat! We're gonna talk about water, kids. Oh, man. They're not kids made of water. Just <laughs> Talk about water, children. <laughs> water, comma, kids. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no! But I really can't think of a movie that, like, surprised me other than that one. I mean, I think one... And this really upsets me. Like, I really like The Hobbit. I think it's the best thing that J.R. Tolkien ever wrote. And for whatever reason, it was stretched into three movies. And I think everyone agrees that the best part of those three movies was, was in the fun. first one. No. No, no. I like when the doors were singing their cleaning song. That is pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can agree with that. What about Smaug? Smaug. I thought Smaug was a little lackluster. I thought Smaug was a little mishandled, but I did like the portrayal by Benadryl, Benadryl Cabbage, Cabbage Patch. Patch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you Benadryl Cabbage Patch. What a lovely Brit. <laughs> what a wonderful phrase. <laughs> Do you think I made it wide enough? I mean, it's... I'll, I'll put, like, a support beam underneath it. Maybe not. I'm lazy. Maybe, I don't know. Possibly. That's a lot of wood, guys. You know, you know how you. Know, you actually, oh, I'm sorry, guys. You know how you have your diving board? I'm gonna make a diving board into the <laughs> into the orchard. In the orchard. Orchard. This is orchard. This is wide enough for it, right? Uh, yeah. If you I say think so. so. You guys so. who have played a lot what are you, more. What are you making? Uh, let's, I'm expanding the top floor so it'll be big enough for our enchanting table. Yeah, that should be wide enough. I mean, you could always expand it later if you need to. That's too much work. I mean, you just did that work, so... I mean, I'm going to have to fetch a lot more wood. And I'm not looking forward to it, because I have to venture farther and farther from the safety of my home. You know what movie was surprisingly bad? Batman vs. Superman. I actually went into that movie, like, stoked. I was like, this movie is going to be amazing. It's going to be the movie to end all this, movies. Yeah, this is going to be like... This is gonna like be the beginning of the DC Universe Avengers, and it, it was so bad, like shockingly bad. <laughs> and I don't, I, I don't, I just don't get a lot of the. That's the thing, like I don't understand. There's so many layers of approvals that go into movies that you have to get past, like focus groups and like a lot of marketing people and like the hundreds of people that end up having some sort of input on movies and I don't understand how they end up being so bad sometimes because people get paid off or whatever maybe? is it maybe is it just like sunk cost <gasps> fallacy where like you oh. is where you like put too much money into something and you're like wow this is really bad but you've kind of already spent a lot of money on it perhaps and, Mayhaps. There's nothing they can do about it at that point. Mayhaps. <laughs> I mean... Thank you for your input, Elaine. Well, I mean, if you've already spent, like... I mean, I'm just going to use little numbers. Obviously, they use more than, you know, a million dollars to make a movie. But if you've already spent a million dollars to make a movie, and then you realize the movie's trash, it's like, well, do I spend another million or two million dollars trying to save this terrible movie, or do I just hope for the best? Because sometimes there are movies that are really bad, but everyone likes them because they're that bad. Kind of like the idea of the producers, where they're like, I'm going to buy the yeah. worst actors. 
and I'm gonna get the worst script ever and the worst director and then it winds up not being a flop because reasons I can't explain um I never saw the producers either one I never saw the play and I never saw the movie though I wanted well, to see the movie now. There's, Ooh, Iron Go Iron there's Iron one Go with Matthew Broderick and Mel Brooks and then there's like an old old one from when like our parents were kids Wait, Matthew Broderick it's Matthew Broderick and um Matthew What's the other guy? It's not Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks, Mel Brooks was the original. Directed. He no. was the original one. Did I get it backwards? It's, um, oh crap. It's the guy who did Timon's voice in the original Lion King. Nathan Lane? Nathan Lane, yes. Seriously, dude? <laughs> Seriously? I, I'm a diehard Lion King. <laughs> Nathan Lane's pretty cool. I approve. He's on Modern Family from time to time. I approve of the message. Oh no. There's just... like a mine entrance here that. I kind of want to mark, so. I just have an awkward, like, look at look at my house right now. Yeah, this. Ooh, should... I found a cat. <gasps> my floors are Kitty. a little. I mean, you can try and venture to me, but it's very far away. Let's it looks like a tame cat, though. <sighs> like it's a legit cat. Yeah, yeah that's that's an awesome one. Ooh, I have a bed here. Uh, -oh. uh missing textures. There we go. It's a yellow mm -hmm. yellow bed. Yeah, you're very far away. If anyone finds Birchwood and wants to deliver There's a brewing it station. on to me. Take it with <gasps> He is a grand priest of Plagueis. Look at his outfit. Hello. Hello. I, I bow my head. And look, he's got stained glass! Oh, you know what movie really <laughs> disappointed me now that I think of it? What? I think it was In Time, the one with Justin Timberlake and What's-Her-Face. That let me down based on the concept, because I thought the concept was really cool. Didn't it sound really yeah, cool? Yeah, I thought they didn't really do very much with it. Uh, what was the... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to live. Um, I can't believe I've forgotten her name. Amanda Seyfried? Was it Amanda Seyfried? Seyfried? No, Seyfried, like with a Y. Oh, that's... Less cool I know not if that is who it is. <laughs> oh, there's another black I can't sheep. remember, honestly. It's my thing. Oh, I, I think of, I think of the line, the defensive fortification, but <sighs> that ain't not it. What? You can't think of a movie that let you down, Lakota? Not a lot of bad movies. Oh, um, both. Um, uh, beast. Both, uh, what? Fantastic See, Beast yeah, movies? Yeah, Fantastic Beast. Oh, yeah, them. Fantastic Beasts. That's a good one, actually. We all fell asleep during that one. Yeah, during the first one, we fell asleep. And it, the second one was just bad. I think I walked out for that. I was like, no. It's not happening. I That's one bad. of those movies that it's like... I mean, J.K. Rowling at this point is just kind of spiraling. The, she, she's gone back to her roots where everything she writes is just got awful and <laughs> no one wants to give her the time of day. And now she's like a, a transphobe. They have like a whole controversy. Yeah, and then I think she wrote some mystery books but under a different name so people like wouldn't know it was her or whatever. So she could see if she could do the whole Harry Potter hype thing again. You know? You know. Yeah, that was that was lightning in a that was lightning in a bottle. Ooh, is it, there's a real cat. They've already tamed these cats. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The other no, one. It's literally black and white. It's not hey. an ocelot. Hey, <laughs> What is that? It looks like an abominable snowman. It's oh. an iron golem. Oh yeah, they look different. They they look more abominable. Oh, they have hay. Snowman. Yeah. Hay that's, that's the same golem that's always been. It looks different to me. Oh, I, I mean, I've only here. made the one. Like, so, yeah. <laughs> that was like over a year ago. You expect me to remember what my stone got? Look at all the cats. They're all over the place. Oh my god, I love this place. You should just come to me. No, no. I am building our house up. I have to be the responsible party. Hey, I'm being responsible. I'm building too. Well. What are you building? I have built so many things in this mountain. Hello, fellow acolytes. You're growing the wealth for Plagueis. He has a hard hat, though. He has, like, a skull on his head. He's like but a barbarian looks, warrior. It looks like a stone skull, and it's, like, sticking his tongue at it. And that's, that is the high priest. How do I Live ring long the, and her. How do I ring the bell? He, he just... Huh? There we go. Oh, jeez. No, it's not Only I'm allowed to ring the bell. Wait. Come to church. In unison. In unison. Three, two, one. Ring that bell. 
for all of your notification needs. Oh, Lord. Oh, Darth Lord, please, <laughs> please smite these children of yours. Who use and the you, bells and if you if you guys do want us to talk about a specific topic or um, our thoughts on something, just leave it down in the 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 comment the comments. comment section. There you go. Blast furnace. What does that do? Is that just like I have a better furnace? The, they're for smelting. I have two of them. Okay, you show off. What I took them from the last village. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> he just likes to pillage and I have supreme uh, blast furnace. Thank you very much. <laughs> we, there's a store in the uh, in the place that I work at that um, s sells all like the flexor gear. So it's like supreme shirts and like really overpriced stuff. You know. So we just call it the flexor store. All the ri rice gumbies uh, stuff. What is this? <clears throat> rice gum. Wow. If we mention rice gum, he might actually like try and fight us. So there's some controversy there. Yeah. Hey, it helped uh, odd ones out. So just yeah, let's just sprinkle his name throughout the episode. <laughs> what is, is that a plant pot you passed on the other side? I don't know what it is. What is that? That's a compost there. Oh. I have two do? of those as well. Which you stole. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I have no more. Can you just can you just break it and take it? Yeah, <laughs> break and take. Uh, yeah. You, you said put... you got me a composter. Oh though. well, I just put that in it. Yeah, if you put stuff in it, if it gets full, it makes bone meal. Interesting. Can I put bodies? You in guys it? seem like. <laughs> you guys seem like cavemen who just discovered things. Can I put... I'm a very basic farmer. Can I put bodies in it? Who's loftily <laughs> trying to grow beyond their original oh, means. Look, that's a very small spot for them and look at this baby cow it's a free cow I just drop all got milk no. I, I feel like you don't see those ads anymore no the got milk ads are kind of gone those you don't see where's the beef either you don't I don't even any, remember any what's ads beef. anymore where's the beef it's like an old lady and she'd go where is the beef yeah I don't remember that you're dating yourself dear um, it was a th it was a thing that happened. Hey, come on! Repopulation. Lots of breeding. I put the cows back in. So I think my favorite movie, though, well, actually, it's hard for me to decide. But my favorite movies are probably. Hey, up. can you get out of the bed? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. Thanks. No, I, I clicked it. I, 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 I can't of that. sleep. I'm not at home. Up is your favorite movie? Up and Inception are my favorite movies right now. Ooh, Inception's a good one. There are people who do not like that movie, and I find them very peculiar. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, one of my favorite movies. It's kind of hard to say. And you know what one movie that's kind of confused me? Remember the Juno hype? Yeah. Where everyone's like, oh my god, Juno. Yeah, I didn't get that. I didn't, I, it, I didn't, I didn't get the V for Vendetta hype either. I'm, yeah. I can kind of understand the V for Vendetta hype, but I didn't see either of those movies until well after they came out. Oh, oh no, there's a skeleton. How over close there. to your house are you? Oh no, oh no. Um, like a hundred away with the. A <laughs> hundred. A <laughs> hundred units of measurement away? <laughs> yes. You can't jump up there. Um, the, yeah, in Juno, I didn't see up until like a couple of years ago. What? Yeah, like, I didn't... I had no real desire to see it. I don't blame you. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Do you know where you were? No. Oh. Did you have a lot of stuff on you? Yes. I had, like, an entire stack of wood I needed. Uh, you can't, maybe you can find it. Are you going to help me? I mean, I'm very far away from you. I have nothing. I'm also in the mountains, so... Lakota, Lakota's closer. It takes me a while to get down the mountain. I don't oh, have a geez. stairway out down the mountain. So. We literally had coordinates. You couldn't have memorized the coordinates with me? It was like 600 <laughs> something. Why would I... Why would that bo Why would that matter to me? I, it's, a, it's, it's literally an entire day's worth of work, and like neither of you... I wasn't paying attention. I, I'm sorry. You're the I, I, was, I was talking about Juno. Why do you expect us <laughs> to do that? Because, like, the... I got more pressing matters. You're got, my teammates. Like, don't... You got taxes to pay. 
I, I, I don't even, I don't even understand anymore. Do you know which direction you ran? Was this the direction? I know, like, my, my first coordinate was over this way, but no, I have no idea where I was. Well, you were in woods, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's really know, descriptive. I, it probably was over this direction. I don't know if it was in the negative section, though. You were, you were a hundred units of measurement away. From yeah. home. <laughs> You're a horrible human being. I hope you know. Wow. Do you remember crossing this? No, I don't. No. <laughs> no. No. I don't. No. I hate everyone. <laughs> oh God, no! Do you remember what kind of trees it was? It was a mixture of birch and stuff. Oh no, no, no. Mini drive. If I die again, I lose all everything, right? No, it's, it's a time thing. This is not Dark Souls, so you don't lose all your souls if you take too long. Um, um, I think I went out this way, but I get turned around, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is birch. No, it's not birch, never mind. Oh, no, there is a no, cranky no. villager <laughs> over there. <laughs> this looks dense. This is look similar to what you were... We were walking through. There's birch. So, mixture. Yeah, I know. But where's my stuff? I feel Nowhere. like the, the people watching think I'm the most pathetic human being on the face of the planet. Because I can't even remember where I died. But it all looks the same after a while. I mean, it does kind of all look the same. Oh, I think I went too far. I think you're in the general vicinity. No, I'm obviously not. My stuff isn't lying around. Well, what about that way? Well, tell me that way. Over there, over oh, there. Schneisen. <laughs> Schneisen I died under a tree and there was a hole I got stuck in. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh wait, wait, I think you're I think I remember this. Go up. That looked kind of familiar. There's a hole. Oh, you're back to the plane. Um. Yeah, the, um... All right. Well, I'm. I feel like this looks like a uh, a cliffhanger spot to stop. Can Elaine find her shit? And uh, pick up the next episode immediately with her trying to find her stuff. So, everybody want to sign off? Yes, I, Elaine, in my next episode with these people, will find my shit. And Lakota. I will finish my floor. Oh no. And I will. Oh no. I will attempt to go to sleep because that's what I've been trying to do for a while. So catch you in the next episode, everybody.